Romans 6, 3-4 Know ye not that so many of us as were baptized into Christ were baptized into his death? Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in newness of life. Matthew three thirteen through 17 Then cometh Jesus from Galilee to Jordan unto John to be baptized of him. But John forbade him, saying, I have need to be baptized of thee, and comest thou to me? And Jesus answering said unto him, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. Then he suffered him. And Jesus, when he was baptized, went up straightway out of the water, and lo, the heavens were opened unto him, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove, and lighting upon him, and lo, a voice from heaven saying, This is my beloved Son, in whom I am well pleased. Notice what Jesus said in verse 15, Suffer it to be so now, for thus it becometh us to fulfill all righteousness. In other words, Jesus Christ, the pure and holy Son of God, who was born without sin, could not fulfill all righteousness without being baptized. Do you honestly think that you can? Perhaps you are saying, I was baptized as a baby, and I don't need to do it again. That is great that your parents did that for you when you were a baby. Guess what? Jesus' parents did the things required by the law of Moses for Jesus when he was a baby too but he still had to be baptized in order to fulfill all righteousness. Luke 2, 21-24 And when eight days were accomplished for the circumcising of the child, his name was called Jesus, which was so named of the angel, before he was conceived in the womb. And when the days of her purification according to the law of Moses were accomplished, they brought him to Jerusalem, to present him to the Lord, as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male that openeth the womb shall be called holy to the Lord, and to offer a sacrifice according to that which is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves, or two young pigeons. So what exactly is baptism? It's a statement. When a Christian is baptized, that Christian is declaring openly, Jesus Christ has saved me from my sins, and I belong to him forever. This is not a declaration that a baby can comprehend, let alone make. It's also a symbol. It symbolizes the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ, and our subsequent death to and burial of the old sin nature, and our resurrection to walk in the life and purity of the Lord. It also symbolizes the resurrection that all believers will experience when the Lord calls us up to heaven, where we will live with him forever. A person who has not personally asked Jesus into his heart cannot be identified with Jesus in this way. A baby can neither comprehend the depth of its meaning, nor does a baby have any choice in the matter. So being baptized must be an act of obedience after receiving Jesus as your Savior, in order for you to fully comprehend and express its true meaning. If you haven't received Jesus as your Savior yet, then you can with this simple prayer. Dear Jesus, I believe that you died on the cross for my sins, and that you rose again the third day. Please forgive me for my sins, and come into my heart, and be Lord of my life. Help me overcome sin in my life, and live for you. So I will have joy when I see your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Contact your pastor and tell him you want to be baptized by immersion so you can identify yourself publicly with the death, burial, and resurrection of your Savior. I have been baptized and I can tell you that it is nothing to fear. In fact, it is a beautiful and joyful experience that every believer should have and be able to remember for the rest of their lives. If you want to learn more about Jesus in addition to reading the Bible every day, you might like Emmanuel by April Marie, 
which puts the Gospels together chronologically, so they can be easier to understand. That is available at lulu.com, barnesandnoble.com, and amazon.com. Thank you for listening. May you experience the joy of identifying yourself with Jesus.